Hi, I'm Sunil from Sunny Vlogs. I'm a content creator and a vlogger. And today I came here to talk about Bing, the which is a uh, an alternative tool for ChatGPT, and you can also generate uh, text and images because it provides you the capability of GPT-4 uh, for free. Actually, so we'll see that today. So to do that, you have to go to Play Store and search for Bing. And I already installed Bing, and so that's from Microsoft Corporation. So that's where you, that way you can validate. And once you install it, open it. Let me keep here in the middle. So that yeah, it'll come here. So you, you by default the Home tab is there. To do the creative work, we have to click on that Copilot in the middle, that colorful icon there. So click that. And you, you will see something like this. Copilot, your everyday AI companion and all those things. And there is a checkbox here if you see. Use GPT-4. So you have to select that. And your you know, screen turns purple to enable it. Otherwise, it turns blue. Okay. So now it is using gpt4 so here you can try you know uh, questions related to your code or anything that you ask chat gpt but in this video we are only uh, you know focusing on generating images so let's see how it will generate and how creative it is and how much time it will take okay mm. we'll say generate an image of a Fantasy, uh, or where is the fantasy gateway to a uh, gigantic building made up of wood carvings? Uh, lush green creepers blooming colorful flowers okay so now here we wanted a fantasy gateway to a gigantic building made up of wood covers. so we are giving all these things because um, it's difficult to uh, you know represent as an image and uh, with the details uh, for all the things that we asked for so we are just testing how creative it would be to bring up an image matching with all these uh, criteria okay and the sky is vividly colorful with thick thick clouds and uh, fantasy birds okay now let us see what uh, it will do so here you know first it will read the prompt and it will acknowledge uh, you know that it will try to create that and then uh, if you see here things to remember you see a, a 1 of 30 number there so that means you can in this session continuously ask uh, 30 prompts so now uh, we'll see that uh, how it works and now after 30 you will not be able to generate anything you have to restart that we'll see uh, okay it generated four it didn't take that much time i think within a minute it generated so i asked for a fantasy gateway yeah so it generated a pathway okay and wood carvings and all those things right let us see how detailed it would be let us check uh, this when you click on uh, a particular image of your choice it will open in a specific app that is called designer here you can see that in the bottom 
left side is the designer so this is the designer app if you see this i think i cannot zoom it here but uh here you can see colorful sky and you know trees and all those things and creepers on that thing and uh, birds flying there so so when you click on it you know it actually you know uh, selected that right so we can use some tools there uh, blur, blur background or color pop like that maybe if i if we try color pop so that only is you know popping out and rest everything you know is uh, turned to grayscale so like that you can actually you know uh, generate multiple things and now uh, we wanted to change this right so we wanted to add some more details say i want a compound wall and a gate to be visible again okay. i want the view from uh away from yeah away or maybe through through the uh mystical gates and a come pond wall matching in design of the building let us see how it does so now second prompt i gave so now we will use the first generated image and it will try to enhance that image with the newer prompt that we have given now let us see how it does again now you can see 2 of 30 so now we gave two prompts of the 30 possible things now entirely it changed so now there is a gate through that far away the building is visible but that wood carving and you know the vivid colors and everything is changed so let us try to ask it to bring them back this view is good but i want the wood carvings on the building to be with intricate details the lushness of the bushes and the plants should pop out in the image the fantasy element to be retained now third prompt we are giving we are saying this view is nice yeah we want this view from a gate or you know from a compound wall outside but we want the building and everything to be visible uh, with the highly detailed carvings and the greenness and everything to be retained let us see how it generated now so now we, we use third prompt now third prompt still we have 27 so uh one thing meanwhile it generates is like you know if you open the uh, bing.com in uh, web browser you will get uh, maybe a kind of 10 or something uh but much more less than the number of prompts that you get on the bing app on your mobile so uh, if you want to do experimenting with your generated images by adding more details and modifying it, I would recommend you to you know uh, install the Bing app on your mobile so that you would get 30 consecutive prompts to you know enhance your prompt to get a proper image of your choice. But if you are using uh, the Chrome or you know any other web edge, uh, you will have a limited uh, you know, number of prompts in a session. So now let us see the generated images so if you see here now it uh, that, that green uh, fantasy element is retained and 
here also the carvings everything is matching with whatever building we wanted it to be generated and if we check this image which is the second image in the second row yeah you so the building now it brought uh, from an angle so that we can see the gate and also the building and how it is woody and everything and the creepers and everything is on that but the visibility of sky is very low that's why it couldn't add the vividness to the sky there yeah like that you can add and i'm not going to add a, anything uh, more than this so and this is powered by dal e which is open ai and you now i hope you would do a an experimenting with uh, this tool and generate creative images and uh, before closing that uh, maybe uh, for you uh, to you know experiment some ideas because uh, by generating these kind of images you may not be able to use in your day-to-day -day, uh, activities maybe i'll generate a title maybe i'll my vlog name is sunny vlogs okay generate a cinematic title of sunny vlogs add elements like camera laptop pen hat and what else yeah my bird cocktail and my and a bagel puppy so these are all the things that i have and i'll use in my vlog so that now i'm asking it to generate a cinematic title of this one so previously we saw how an image can be generated and then enhance it in the same session and now we are trying to generate something useful so that we could generate and use in in our uh, things now this kind of things i will use in my uh, vlog uh, maybe when i create a video as a title or something like that and if you are a teacher and you can you want to uh, teach uh, you know the kindergarten uh, children with some concept you can generate some scene uh, representing a, a concept many things so now yeah yeah so if you see here it generated nicely maybe i can use this as my logo itself so i have a cocktail i have my bagel whatever i asked my laptop pen and a title there sunny blocks right so like this you can uh, experiment and you know you can try out these things so bye bye that's all from sunny vlogs today and happy weekend and experiment and share your experience bye bye